हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द यूट्यूब चैनल एडवोकेट अमित कुमार गुप्ता टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट केस ऑन पेनल्टी अंडर सेक्शन 271 सेवेंटी वन डी विच इज लेवीड ऑन द एस एस सी फॉर द वायोलेशन ऑफ द प्रोविजन टू सिक्सटी नाइन एस एस इन दिस केस दॉज ए फीमेल एस एस सी द एस एस सी केम टू इंडिया फॉर सेलिंग हर प्रॉपर्टी दिस प्रॉपर्टी वॉज इन द ज्वाइंट नेम ऑफ हर हजबेंड फ्रॉम विच she has taken divorced she was dependent on her father who was 87 years of old for selling this property when she came to india the whole sale deed or you can say the whole transaction was concluded in 10 days the assessee was able to prove that there was not much time available with the assessee and the property was sold in haste the assessee was also able to demonstrate that there was a lot of difficulty in selling the property there was a lot of difficulty in finding the buyer for the sale of the property but the assessing officer was not convinced and he went with a penalty under section 271d when the assessee went to the cit appeal cit appeal was also not convinced with the point of the assessee and cit appeal also confirmed the penalty order the assessee moved to the itat the bangalore itat in this case said that the assessee has got a shield under section 273b which says that if the assessee is able to demonstrate the reasonable cost for entering into the transaction in the modes specified under section 269 ss meaning thereby that section 269 ss says that the transaction is to be made through banking channels and if the assessee is not able to make the transactions according to the banking channels then section 273b says that if the assessee proves that there was a reasonable cost for not entering into the transaction through the banking channels then in that case section 271d penalty may be dropped but the prime condition is that the assessee has to make his point according to section 273b so the moot point in this dispute was that whether there was reasonable cause with the assessee that she had received cash for the sale of the property first of all the assessee was a female she came to india and concluded the whole deal within 10 days she was under tremendous pressure to sell the property the property was also disputed because she got the title of the property in a divorce case from her husband and uh, it was difficult for her to sell this property because the name of the husband was also appearing in the title deed documents so the whole facts were in favor of the assessee the assessee was dependent on her father who was 87 years old he also helped her in finding the customer for the sale of the property and somehow they managed to get one customer who was willing to pay the cash assessee received the cash and assessee included all the sale consideration into her return of income and paid the taxes there on so there was not even an iota of evidence that this transaction was done to park any uh, black money or cash or something like that so the intention of the assessee was clear it was a very good case for the assessee and uh, the reasonable cause was proved beyond doubt for the justification for receiving the cash for the sale of the property so by seeing all the facts and circumstances of the present case the itat bangalore decided that there was reasonable cause for not receiving the payment through banking channels and receiving the payment in cash 
so i deleted deleted the penalty under section 271d and the cit appeal order was annulled once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is mrs anuradha versus assistant commissioner of income tax thank you friends